Oldies Radio, it's TJ Lubinsky here with my good friend, host of so many of my TV specials. All right, Jerry, I got to ask you, how did you start singing together with the group that would become The Impressions? You know, I started doing this with a group of guys uh, known as The Impressions. Uh, as a matter of fact, Curtis Mayfield, Sam Gooden, Fred Cash, Arthur and Richard Brooks. Now, Arthur and Richard Brooks and Sam Gooden came to Chicago from a little town called Chattanooga, Tennessee. At that time, Chicago was a recording center. Most of the recording companies either had studios in Chicago and or were using independent producers to make music out of there. We decided that we wanted to make records. We had been singing. i have been singing since I was perhaps three or four years old. You know, mother singing on the knee kind of stuff. Clap your hands, sing this little song, sing that little song. Um, when Sam, Arthur, Richard came to Chicago, I joined the group as a substitute. They had been known in Chattanooga as four roosters and a chick. There was four guys and a lady in the group. So when the three of them came to Chicago, two of the people decided not to come, thought they were coming on a fool's errand. I joined the group, convinced Curtis to come into the group, and Arthur Richard and I wrote a song called For Your Precious Love. We took it down to VJ Records, which was a black-owned recording company, one of the few in the history, and was probably the forerunner of what Motown later became. As a matter of fact, Ewart Abner, who was the president of VJ, later became the president of Motown. Uh, we recorded For Your Precious Love, and as they say, it was a big hit. We never expected it to be a big hit. As a matter of fact, we had been singing it so long, we had stopped singing it. But it was one of those things that was uh, really a poem that I'd written while I was in high school, and often Richard helped set it to music. And after the big hit, something happens and changes the direction completely for you and Curtis and the other guys. About seven or eight months after For Your Precious Love was released, I left the group. Left the group mainly because when we went to VJ Records, we went as the Impressions. When the record was released, it was released as Jerry Butler and the Impressions, bringing about a fairly heated discussion inside the group as to how I wound up with top billing. Uh, and, and because of that argument, which was never really satisfied in terms of the other four guys' opinion, I decided that it was best for me to move on to greener and better pastures.
that you've been dating. Whoa, I've got a feeling he's gonna put you I left the group. Curtis then became predominant figure in the group. And after his taking over the group, he decided to change the personnel. Arthur and Richard Brooks were out, Sam Good and Fred Cash were in, and that's the impressions that the world has come to know. Curtis Mayfield, Sam Good and Fred Cash. Say it's all right. It's all right. Say it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Have a good time. Cause it's all right. Whoa, it's all right. We're gonna move it slow. When lights are low. It sounds like a moan, and it's all right, whoa, it's all right. Now listen to the beat, kind of patch your feet. Want more? Listen to my radio show, mixcloud.com slash TJL Radio. That's mixcloud.com slash TJL Radio, where we play lots of music from Jerry Butler and the Impressions. Say it's all right. 